you get schar. Walking away from everything else. The halicha is not into the shul, it's walking away from it. It's leaving the world behind you. There's one mitzvah you get that, and that's by tefillah. By walking out of the world and walking into the shul, you leave everything else behind you. I would say, by the way, there should be schar halicha when you come home from work too, to be honest. You know, if, if that's what it means, leave the world outside and come in, that's a pretty cool statement. Thank you, Ari, up top, down up. That's a good. <laughs> but ultimately, schar halicha means that you come into the shul, you leave everything else behind, and you come in and you sit down, and it's like, whoom. it's just like, you know, you put your brain in just silent mode. That's it. You're speaking to Hashem now. When Barry, whoever else just sits there and wants to talk to you, it's just like, uh, that's it. Uh, uh. I was like, what, you're not talking? No, no, no. That's what you got to do. And it works. And it actually works. And you speak to Hashem. And it comes to Torah reading, and you're like, I'm in it. Like, I want to know what the words mean. Like, I get to speak to Hashem. I want to know what the words mean. And it comes to Torah, I want to read the notes on the bottom. And it comes afterwards to the Kiddush. You enjoy that too, the three-ring circus. You enjoy that also. And you sing. You have a Devar Torah and shmooze with guys too. And shmooze, L'shem Shemayim. Shmooze, yeah. And, and, and no matter what you shmooze, you know what you can do with that shmoozing? We just learned this in Pirkei Avot as well. 6 in the morning, so you do it tomorrow. What we learned just this morning was is that Three people are sitting together. This is in the third paragraph. Three people are sitting together and they have no Torah between them. They're eating a meal, no Torah between them. It's like they did Avod Zara. And three people are sitting together and they have Torah between them. You turn your Shulchan into the Mizbeach of Asha. You can sit there and say quietly to yourself, everybody here is schmoozing. I'm just going to say a Devar Torah to these two guys over here and I'm going to transform this table into a Mizbeach of Asha. It's amazing. You know that when you go home, from shul that day, you walk into the house, your wife is going to be like, whoa, why are you so happy? Uh, have you guys ever had that? Uh, sometimes I walk in the house, my wife is like, why are you so happy? Like, you know, like my regular demeanor, you know, is coming in all, uh, so he's like, why are you so happy? Like, what happened? Uh, so I, I don't know. Okay. So, so, but, but I think if you're walking with a certain like glow on your face, you can come and you can say, I said every word of tefillah today and I try to pay attention to it. I didn't speak at all in shul the whole time. I'm on a high from that. I read the notes inside the chumash. I can't wait to sit down today, have the delicious food and tell everybody the pshat. And today at the table, when everybody else was schmoozing and drinking, I turned the shulchan into a mizbeah. Boom! <laughs> that was my morning today. Come on alive. You had a purpose. You had a tachlis. You had a reason. You know, you came with something. You have a purpose in this world. Our drive of everything is Ritzon Hashem Yitbarach. That is the greatest ta'anuk possible in this world and the next. That's why we're here, to do Ritzon Hashem. What is Ritzon Hashem? Lehitkarev love to get closer to him. And therefore, any ta'anuk that you have in this world, any enjoyment you have in this world, all of it has to be mabato, your outlook, umagamato, and everything, your whole drive is towards doing that thing, everything. Anything that is absent of that is hevel varik, it is emptiness, and we're going to give a din the on that. And how come we wasted that enjoyment? It could have been something greater.